Alrighty. Are you ready, guys? One route has been taken. Two routes have now been finished officially for my Let's Play. But does that mean I'm finished with this game? Ho ho! Far from it, guys. Because right now, we are going to start the Michiru route. Wait a minute, and welcome! My name is Shishana Man. Welcome back to the Fruit of Grisaya. And I believe it's the best number in the world, part 69. And for this number, we will begin the third route that I have chosen now to follow for you with, and that is the Michiru route. So now we're going to get to the beginning of that by asking Sachi for an alternative penalty. So guys, I hope you're ready. Because I am, and here's my proof. I've got my drink at the ready. Oh boy, that's nice. Oh uh, yeah. You know when you need your vitamins, you're getting ready for something new, you're just gonna take it. So, ask for an alternative penalty. You can be sure. Personally, I prefer a different penalty if that's right with you. So, oh. An interesting choice. Can't say I was expecting the second round, but if you're that caught up in the game, Sachi, I don't mind giving you another match when we had the time. Damn. <laughs> She's still gonna challenge us even at that length. Like, oh boy. You're seriously fired up. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's a pun. It's an old man pun. Yes. Fundamentally, Sachi seems the same airhead girl as always, but judging from this highly out of character assertiveness, she must have gotten quite fond of Mac in a strange game. Oh. What is this sound? Uh oh. <laughs> Mac in returns from the second floor only a few minutes later after she left. This time with Armine in tow. I did not realize that Armine's trousers were like the button is unfastened. Oh, God. I never even noticed that. What's this? Mac and the police tell me you're not thinking of adding Armine into the game for a four way battle royale. <laughs> Damn it, we had to say that. Uh, oh, what's that? An errand? So, Wait, what? Not that you're not that you're inviting us to eat in is particularly rare, but what's with the formal invitation? Some special occasion? Yeah. Hmm. Just as in instructed, I put my hand on my chest and search for the answer in my heart. Does lub dub lub dub have anything to do with it? Because that's all I'm getting. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be dub dub or something like that in Japanese. I'm not sure. Kind of stop heaving size in my kindly stop heaving size in my direction. As I've told you before, I am a surprisingly naive soul. Please spell out the situation for me. Oh, so we're talking about the tacos here. <laughs> but you're still complaining, okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, that's kind. Now I see. It's an idea very typical of our frugal minded harmony. Excuse me? Do me a favor and don't say stuff like that with a blush on your face. It's seriously bad, mother for the heart. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> he entertained it. I just remembered my bell's fallen to the freaking floor. I just remembered that my bell fell to the floor the other day. And I had forgotten to pick it up. Sorry about that. Also, I've already finished with the prep for my own meal, so. Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Impressive resilience, but I suppose it's only to be expected of a veteran resident of this school. 
今日娘は意外に根性を据わってますねんえ何をそのペア ?I know that's not Kansai Bay. I'm trying to remember what、uh, dialect she had again. Tell me something. In Kyoto,、uh, do all the girls cackle like murder? Do you like it? Oh. Well, we didn't get to finish that. I'm gonna close this the matter with a wink that reads, I'm a harmless little girl. It's distinctly unconvincing. Also nauseating. <laughs> I swear, this woman. Alright. What? Are we in grade school now? Want us to go run around the playground until it gets dark? Oh, that hurts after doing Sachi's route and then hear the playground. Dang it. For some reason, Magna mimes the motion of flipping cards off a deck. Since when did that game involve cards? Good question. And so I was once again dragged back into the soul crushing game in question, mumbling complaints all the while. And it's the next day. Hello. Ohio. Hello, Mitchell. You're next on the list. I hope you're damn ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? Yumiko? You alright? I'll see Mitchell's greeting, then winking in response to Sakaki's silent glance, I make my way to my seat. <laughs> So I just wound up Sakaki by just coming in like, oh, hello, everybody. Uh huh. Just give the weird little wink. A perfectly normal morning so far. Oh, no. At least until Amine and an oversized puppy arrive in the scene. Apparently, this school is truly tolerant in regard to pets on campus. <laughs> Perhaps too much so. Maybe it's a marketing strategy to differentiate them from the crowd. Like those animals, okay, cafes. Just for your information, ending your sentences with weird little barks makes you sound like a complete mental case. Aha. <laughs>、uh -huh. So she was aware? By the way, young pup, are you done with this extreme typos already? I have multiple questions. That in its way is kind of cool and worrying. Amine's words of explanation seem to carry a tinge of exhaustion. Since one person hasn't gone with the times quite yet. <laughs> How can he forget that? Just as Armine says, our extreme typos marathon continued well after we'd finished our group dinner. Once Makina started、uh, complaining about being tired, everyone wandered back to their rooms without any firm conclusion to the game. That's not use. Yumiko's laughing? I'm sorry, what? Calm yourself, Michiru Sama. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. Sorry. But the fact that Yumiko laughed. That is actually kind of amazing. Back when the village was well,、uh, well, was still an essential aspect of daily life, the world was a happier place. By avoiding the well, it was possible to avoid women's idle gossip to some degree. In modern times, the whole world is a minefield. You never know when you're going to trigger a verbal explosion. Oh, oh. Boy, isn't that more true than ever right now? Sweets are especially troublesome. Despite their small size, they're extremely effective at inspiring females to chatter on at length. Their destructive efficiency resembles that of a hollow point bullet. Okay. Oh, I came at a good time, did I? Okay, our program of academic activities is over for the day. I'm just taking a short breather when Amani calls my attention. 
Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. Can it wait? I'm busy, damn it, woman. <laughs> I'm not attempting to shoot you down, and I'm not trying to be blunt either. I'm just informing you that I don't currently have time to put up with the lengthy, pointless chattering you people seem to love so much. <laughs> damn. Usual? Okay, interesting. I'm sure I've already explained that my knowledge on this particular topic is fairly shallow, but apparently they haven't quite gotten the message yet. Sorry, but I'm not going to be of much use. I've never even done the typical marathon bloody knuckled fighting by the bank of the river until both sides collapse and become fast friends thing. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, some people have those things, apparently. I've seen it a few times in anime where two guys beat each other to the living hell on that lot, and then they all of a sudden become best buds because they've literally done the same thing and then came to an actual thing beyond friendship where their fists have done more talking than they ever could do themselves. It's very weird, um, cliche that you don't really see it a lot now, now that I think about it. That a fact happens all the time in books, though I was convinced it must be a commonplace daily event. Normally, that's why I think it became popular. Mm. Oh, normally, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, she's gonna get brought up in this. Yeah, that's right. With a girl? What's wrong with you guys? I know some of us are pricks, but girls, oh my. Just a little off fat, just on your part. I have a better relationship with male friends than I do female friends, even though I'm still, I have female friends that I still talk to. It's just, most of my bullies when I was younger were girls, believe it or not, more than guys. Would you believe it? <laughs> so, nah, never mind, I'm moving on. Sorry about that weird bit. Oh, okay. <laughs>考えたじゃない。あまり経験がないから答えようがないのよ。それを知っててわざと質問したの。あまり困らせない。That's <laughs> what I thought was the case. おおこはちょっと怒ってたのよさ。あんたの言い方が少し不質けすぎたんじゃないの? Yeah. Bukubuku? What the hell is that? Hey, Maki-chan. ブンブクブク。ブンブクブク。私が考えるに見た目はかなりタコに近くて8本の足と9番で食べるとカレー味。それがブンブクブク。お茶ブンブクブク。お茶ブンブクブク。お茶ブンブクブク。お茶ブン
Why does it always taste like curry, Sachi? Sachi, my friend, are you perhaps somewhat hungry at the moment? You're only persistent with this curry thing. Chocolate flavour would have been the more logical choice in this case. <laughs> and I convinced her of that so easily. Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, I won't hear you at all. Uh, please give me the question. <laughs> God damn it. Are you a casual hanging out? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're a casual こういう話題って男か女かでも考え方が違うからね。どう思ってるか気になるわよね。うん。うん。そうだね。何チルチル、どうしたん?え、she that was odd. No, I don't think you did. No, definitely not that. No, I don't think it's either that. What, it's colitis this time? Of course, if it, if there's a fever, we can't rule out the malaria either. All right, I suppose I'll have to take appropriate measures. <laughs> <laughs> malaria as well. God damn it. Yeah, okay then. I'll be going now. I decided to put my nose into Michiri's business, less out of genuine concern for her health than a desire to escape a tedious conversation. Oh, damn. Why this music so early? Excuse me? But after searching the entire dormitory from top to bottom, she's nowhere to be found. Locked in from locked in the lavatory, perhaps? Uh, have you seen Michiri? Oh, say what? I see. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, uh, yeah, it's alright, Yumiko. Uh, they say save the best for last, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know everything yet, so it's gonna be good. Why would she head outside when she's clearly feeling poorly? Or was that just some sort of an act? No. Mitri, what do you think you're doing? You need to take it easy if you don't want to lose those if you don't want those clothes and to end up irredeemably soiled. I nearly came to say lose lose those clothes. That would have been dangerous. <laughs> she actually seems distressed. Hmm? Is your chest hurting? It looks like you're in pain. <laughs> Hold on a minute, has she got a weak heart? Mitsuru's face contorts in evident agony. Beads and beads of greasy sweat have formed on her forehead. Looks like a considerably more serious attack than the one I witnessed a few weeks ago. Oh, I completely forgot about that. God damn it, how did I forget that? It's probably because it's been ages since I've seen, I recorded that part. What's wrong? Look, I know you're devoted to your craft, but no one's going to revoke your membership in the Sundere Club if you ask for help when you're sick. You look terrible though. That sounded like the real Michiru. I can't do that. I'd be unable to assist if this attack suddenly developed into a medical emergency. I'm not willing to take that risk. As good as her word, Mitchell stalks sluggishly off the school grounds, dragging a shadow behind her like a ball and chain tied to her feet. Seems she found my intervention seriously unpleasant. I quietly watch her go. Jesus. Do the others know about her attacks? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't think there's a problem. And we're lying. We're lying to everyone's faces. 
どこか具合が悪いのでしょうかきっと悪いものでも食べたのよさこの前消しゴムをチルチルに向かって投げたら反射的に口を開けてひょいパクしてたし<笑>わおえー、それでどうしたの Yeah, I wanna find out now what happened. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Oh, you're horrible. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Hmm. The girl's taste buds may have been permanently fried from drinking nothing but sour stuff all the time. <laughs> Wait, don't they cut those distinctive little notches into the tritial tube when making urite? From the shape alone, she should have been able to determine it was an eraser. <laughs> oh, you're a schemer. <laughs> 日本人ならではの器用さを発揮したのよさ。Well done! In that case, I guess it's not surprising she made a mistake. You're admirably meticulous about the details. そんなことしたらダメでしょどう考えても体に良くないじゃない Yeah! そこはあれよ。ちゃんとフォローとして、一応役も渡しておいたのよさ。Yeah, and if she didn't take it, please don't tell me it was a pulverized eraser. <laughs> <laughs> Pulverized eraser. <laughs> never in my life did I think I'll ever eat. I, I'd ever read the word the words pulverized eraser. Whoa. Makina, ato de chotto hanashi ga aru kara ne. Just a little one. <laughs> she doesn't want anybody to go near her. Can't say I know. She wanted us somewhere by herself. Yeah, and then she went up by herself. Amine's reaction to my words is distinctly overblown. Things seem to be moving in a troublesome direction all of a sudden. You did indeed, and I assured you that she was. My grounds for that judgment was very simple. Michiru herself said as much. Ooh. Can't deny it was a little pale. Personally, I didn't think she appeared particularly healthy in general. The girl herself said. Alright. Nope. She's right. What sort of responsibility did you have in mind? あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そ
Yuji? Very strange. Are these errors of judgment on my part? Perhaps my perception of reality has been warped by spending so long inside that hermetically sealed pocket of eccentricity they call a school. We should do? Answer me. Oh, damn. Yeah, she's right there. No, I've got the wrong person after all. <laughs> At least, that's what it feels like. But the number of people who wear this uniform is very small. Logically speaking, there can't be any mistake. The girl in front of me has the exact same face as Matsushima Michidu in every perceivable way. But the closer I look, the more she seems like someone else entirely. Yeah, she does force her personality, or maybe she forces a persona, which I believe it's more of a persona since she tries to fake a Cinderella attitude so hard. What's going on here? A very subtle change in some visual detail can dramatically change a person's impression, but this isn't that sort of a spot the difference puzzled. To put the matter plain, this Michiru simply is not Michiru. I can understand now why my eyes slid right over her at first, of course. Of course, I now left with a far greater mystery. Who is this Michiru I see before me? Who are you? And so I ask her point blank. I'm well aware that it's a strange question. There just doesn't seem to be any other way to phrase it. The imposter Michiru <laughs> is staring out at the ocean. A small black cat curled up in her lap. She looks perfectly healthy. There's no indication of stress on her face. If anything, you think she rolled out of bed at noon and took a stroll to enjoy the fine weather. She appears utterly relaxed. Is Ramel doing well? Oh yeah, that's right. She looked after a cat last time he came here. I emphasize the name as if to definitively snap a label, uh, slap a label on the cat. Michiru turns toward me, a quizzical expression on her face. She sounds so different. I don't know which Rommel you're referring to. There's no way I, can't, I can answer that question. More importantly, which Michiru are you? You're not that Michiru, I'm pretty sure. Split personality disorder? Hold on. Does Michiru have split personality disorder? Because this feels like she's got two other people's memories. A Michiru is a Michiru is a Michiru, right? This girl doesn't stumble in conversing with me. She banters back with perfect composure. Hmm. At the very least, I don't think you're the Michiru I know. <laughs> Oh? Oh? Mind explaining in more detail? I don't understand what's going on here. Dakara, don't you recognize your father? <laughs> Dictionary for, for my pillow? That's an interesting... That's an interesting... Uh, description there. I don't think the girl's deliberately trying to confuse me. But this attitude is somewhat irritating. Reminds me of a mean-spirited adult teasing a child while holding an empty cookie jar behind her back. Now that you mention it, I think I may have slept with books more often than women. <laughs> Interesting thing is she keeps saying Kimi uh, instead of uh, Antane or something like that, which are both fairly rude responses unless you know someone. Kimi can be the more ruder out of them though, I guess, uh, if, from what I remember. This is so weird for me, too. Uh, from, from what I've used to. I'd probably just say come with me of course. I'm fully capable of utilizing honeyed words instead. If the situation necessitates them. 
Oh, that a fact. I can't say I remember running across anyone like you either. Have we been introduced yet? Oh, Michiru lets out a brief, amused chuckle. So Oh yeah, we did say that. Not really. It's kind of easy if you think about it. it. Wasn't exactly a difficult guess. You like this place well enough to designate it as your final resting place after all. That's right. That water though. Like, she said Anoko. She mentioned that girl. Yeah, that girl. That girl. Sorry, you're losing me again. Who's that girl supposed to be? Alright, so Shinpai Muyo. That Muyo, it literally means no need. Uh, it's very blunt. Like Mondo Muyo. Don't ask questions. It's a very blunt way of speaking in Japanese. There you go, Japanese fact of the day. There's your Japanese lesson. Precise. Clear phrasing. I say though, you're now on the insipid side of things. Oh, say what? Uh, uh, I see. No, surely I don't talk like that. Oh, Michiru clears her throat with an affected um. Oh god! I think we did say that. Um, ages ago. Like, I think that was part 22, if my memory's correct. That's right. Those stories are complete nonsense, invented to control people through superstitious terror and fraudulent promises of salvation. Of course, once you die. Once you die, your brain becomes nothing more than a rotten piece of meat. So it can't exactly hurt to think what you want while you're alive. Yeah. It's not like you're ever going to realise you're wrong. If the idea of a heaven waiting for you makes life more bearable, you may as well believe in it. Oh, many reasons. Just saying. I'm not prone to that particular delusion, no. I understand that death is something like an endless, dreamless sleep. Hmm. Yeah, more or less. What are you talking about? A corpse rising from the grave? Oh, yeah, this is this is very philosophical. Like, Michiru is actually freaking smart. What the f- <laughs> Okay, my perception of Michiru has literally been turned on its entire- Hold on one second. My perception of Michiru has been turned on its freaking head. What in the f- Jeez. And she says Anoko. So, yeah, I think she's got split personality disorder just from that. Well, I have heard stories about people who went into a comatose state and were mistakenly identified as dead. Every once in a while, a corpse pops up of the bed and scares the hell out of everyone in the room. Yeah, there was, uh, in real life, I think there was a guy who actually passed away for a solid nine hours and then came back to life. I can't remember how long ago this was, though, so I may have it wrong. What, what do I do next? 
次の朝が来ちゃったらどうするってこと Sorry, what? わからないでしょわかんないのよつまり君にもわかんないことがあるってこと Yeah, we're not omnipotent We're not omnipotent We can't help that We are just human beings 死んだら何もなくなるなんて想像でしかないじゃない Oh, she's critiquing my knowledge そうした風に言うことで偉くなったつもり Jesus, she's ripping us a new one. Not particularly. Alright. Oh, she was saying that she was a little bit of 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 a Hmm. If you think your life to be yours alone, I suppose you're free to die whenever you want. But in the vast majority of cases, people can't live alone. Your existence incurs costs on others. Specifically, you're alive because someone else spent money to keep you that way. Until those debts are paid, letting yourself die would be pretty damn selfish, don't you think? <laughs> So, what you're saying is as well that、uh, they, you don't own your own life. Somehow, this Michiru has managed to drag me into a truly cryptic conversation. Feels like I'm struggling to comp complete a puzzle with no possible solution. Yeah, there's some point to our questions. It completely eludes me. Human beings are too full of themselves. That's the only reason they worry about questioning with no answer, like the meaning of life. Every other animal is concerned with the struggle of their daily existence and very little else. We really shouldn't be any different. Where did this ridiculous ego come from anyway? Things probably went off back track. Went off,、yeah. went off track back when we first started picking up rocks and hitting each other with them. Hmm. Then why ask it? Good for you. I quit. This pointless conversation is officially over. I'm going back to the dorm. <laughs> <laughs> I turn my back on Michiru, resolved to cut off this unproductive debate. But after a few steps, I come to my senses. This isn't exactly a satisfying conclusion. I was just teased into ignominious retreat by a cheeky little girl. <laughs> yeah! She, she is like, whoa! I can't believe we even had that conversation with her. I turn back and face Michiru once more.、Yeah! <laughs> the black cat, apparently startled by my emotion, leaps off Michiru's lap and bots away through the tall grass.、Huh? Michiru looks perfectly fine now, but at school she was pressing her hand to her chest and grimacing in pain. That wasn't the first time I've seen it happen. By some strange coincidence, the previous case also occurred after someone brought up the topic of best friends. Something happened with her and someone else, didn't they? The instant Michiru heard those words, her health deteriorated dramatically. It was the same today. That may not be all three. Uh, three. Don't there! Is to this. But at the very least, it should be the key that leads me to an answer. Here we go, guys. We're starting the route. Uh, okay. There we go. Here we go, guys. Let's start the Michiru route right now. I want to ask you something. Yeah, I want to ask you something. What? Those are oddly specific, but okay. None of the above. I want to know if you have a best friend. I carefully state my inquiry, watching Michiru's face intently. I expected some sort of telling reaction, but there don't seem to be any results worth mentioning. Michiru thinks the matter over for a moment. The casual expression on her face suggests a woman pondering her dinner menu. <laughs> Why 
um, because you're avoiding the topic. Whenever the conversation shifts to friendship, best friends in particular, you immediately begin to act strangely. Though it might have some connection to your sudden illness. Thought, sorry, thought. She's the... Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Which one's the real Michiru? Is it the one that's pretending to be a Sundere? Or is it this girl right here? Because that just makes me think like... The one trying to be a Sundere is the real Michiru. And this is someone else entirely. Because she's referring to... Um... Well, if you want to know, you have to ask her type of attitude. Mm. Yeah, you can really rub people off the wrong way with that. どうせ死んだら最後は一人になってしまう。おお。それなら特別仲のいい人なんて作りたくない。悲しいだけじゃない。That's a pretty pessimistic way of looking at it. そうじゃない。現実的なんじゃないかな。It's an interesting way of thinking about it, though. Hmm. All right, I understand you're thinking on the matter. I'll be heading back now. This time I'm fully ready to take my leave, but apparently Michiru's unsatisfied with this conclusion as she immediately calls out to stop me. Huh? Hmm? Sorry, what about me? No. Hmm. Can't say I have anyone I could confidently describe that way. No. Don't have one of those either. Why are you asking? え、いないんだ。君ってモテそうだけど。なんでいないんだろうね。ずっといないの Wait, what? I see. So this is what they call idle curiosity. Yes. Um. Um. Out of respect for your admirable attempt at brevity, I'll keep my answer simple as well. It kisses a moment of contact between two sets of mucous membranes. <laughs> well, this is going a hundred miles an hour, hello? Not particularly, I suppose. Hmm? Mishu rises up on tiptoe and draws her face close. Without a moment's hesitation, she presses her mouth to mine. A moist mucous membrane of the head hits each other. <laughs> the phrasing, god damn it. Apparently concerned about knocking her nose against mine, Mishu tilts her face slightly to one side. A tuft of blonde hair brushes against my cheek, tickling my nose with the citrusy scent of her shampoo. We just got a kiss super freaking quick, let me just say. <laughs> Mishu runs her tongue around... A tongue over her lips and creates creases her brow thoughtfully. Damn. That's a shame. But would you mind telling me why suddenly? Huh? Eh? She's gonna switch back to have a Michiru, isn't she? Say what? Are you going somewhere? Explain yourself. Michiru? Is that you? <laughs> yeah, that's the real Michiru. You're the one who approached me. Hold on. Yeah, 
Yes, yeah, so she does have split personality disorder. There we go. Hmm. How exactly should I interpret this? Seems we're back to the old Michiru. Yo, long time no see. Glad to see you're doing well. I, s I was somewhat concerned. She's aware. Anything strange? Have you ever said anything that wasn't? <laughs> <laughs> oh, settle down. I do want an explanation on all of this, of all of this, but I suppose it can wait. You're tired, aren't you? Let's head back to the school. Alright, alright. Sit down, settle down, little child. It's fine. Yes, yes, fine. I'm going to leave you behind now. Alright, I'm gonna continue for maybe another five minutes and I'll end off this part. Why? The girl speaks the truth. I'm somewhat exhausted at present. <laughs> and also, Michiru's other personality. It's exceedingly philosophical, like crazy so. Like, ow, my brain. It wasn't exactly easy. I hope it, this is sufficient to satisfy you, Amine. Okay. Ugh, Mitchell, shut up. I know you're right now, but let's just. Mitchell, Sama, Nanimo, Moana, Kedis, you know? Nanimo, Kangaiz, Nanimo, Kanjiz, Tada, Tada, Koku, Kurikais, take the sign, eh? Yeah, Koku, as long as you breathe. So, ne, Giuni, Kiru, so they got Matsushima, Mitchell, Styler. Such Motas no Koto, Wakatekta, eh? So they got Styler, this, eh? Hi, hi, Styler, Styler. <laughs> it's like a kid. Yeah, just straight on a kid. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Live like the wind. Live like the wind. So the shoka. Michiru sama o kote sasete ita daita no desu ga. Well, she might have been brushing you off, but you can't deny she did it with an admirably light touch. Nara ii wa. Karuku nara mondai nashi. Kore ga omoku datta ra zettai ni yurushite na katta kedo ne. Oi, yurushita. Yurusare mashita. Arigatou gozaimasu. Sore ja. I mean, I guess. Alright, Sachi. A little siesta, oh damn. Michiri, are you really alright? What? That's not what I'm referring to. I'm talking about your physical health. I see. Yeah, we're gonna keep an eye on you now. Yeah, you did that. You're the one who approached me. I didn't. Michiru, my friend, I think you might have meant to see. <laughs> You're calling me a thief. Dorobo. Her incoherent babbling apparently included for the moment. Michiru stalks off. Concluded for the moment. Michiru stalks off. There have always been things about the girl I found hard to understand, but today her incomprehensibility reached new heights. I think I'm going to have to keep an eye on her from now on. Yeah, definitely. And I'm going to end this part here because this feels like the perfect bit to end this off on. Wow. This... I've got to admit... I don't... I don't know what to think. Like, it's got to be split personality disorder. And... Friend seems to be the word that triggers it, which is like a pain in the chest, which forces her personality to change, so it's like a trigger. 
but it seemed to be even stronger when it came to best friends. So that means that Michiru's trauma is related to something that happened with her best friend in the past? I'm guessing is uh, what's going to be the case in this. But I'm very interested to see how this will go. But unfortunately, I'm all out of time for this episode. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want any more from me. And I shall see you in the next video. Sonogen, guys. I will most certainly see you next time. Michiru Root has begun!